variety of our words and discussions here this evening to be true and correct in their content and in their conclusion. Good evening everyone. This is really a, a great privilege to have the opportunity of speaking to you this evening and I must thank um, Dr. Hagen of, um, of Miko who has given me the opportunity to speak to you this evening. We, the purpose of our, the main purpose for us of our gathering here today is connected with the situation in Palestine. We have our religious approach, but we also very much have in mind the suffering of the Palestinian people. And this situation in Palestine is can be described as a festering sore which has been going on for a hundred years or so, not just for the last sixty years. Let me briefly introduce myself first of all. Um, I'm an Orthodox Jew, I try to be an Orthodox Jew, that is a Jew um, who lives uh, his life, and my colleagues who all try to be Orthodox Jews, we try to live our life in accordance with the teachings of the, the Jewish way of life, the Jewish religion. I personally um, have, as a young man, I was, had rabbinical training and did rabbinical duties for a good number of years in London. I was then for many years in commerce, although I was often involved on an ad hoc basis in rabbinical duties. And then later on in 1995, I went back full time into uh, lecturing in Jewish religious seat. I was a senior lecturer in a college not that far from here, actually in Hertfordshire, in Hitch, Hitch in Hertfordshire, for a good number of years. And, and then since then, since 03, I've um, been sort of semi-retired, but I've spent a great deal of my time um, going around to events like this to spread the very important, to try and spread the very important message of the fact that Judaism and Zionism are two entirely uh, differing and uh, incompatible concepts. I'm here under the banner of a group known as, as Dr. Fidel Agi mentioned, in the school of character. It's not really an organization, but it is a philosophy held by Orthodox Jews. It's, a, it's the philosophy of the opposition of Orthodox Judaism to Zionism. Zionism being a, sure you all know, being the philosophy and movement which brought into being eventually, which was aimed at bringing into being, eventually brought into being the, the state of Israel, or the moments of state of Israel. Now, the first thing is, of course, that a lot of you will find this a paradox. How can a Jew, Jewish people, speak of Zionism? Because in the eyes of the world, the vast majority of the world, especially nowadays, Zionism and Judaism are equated, they are linked together. However, our message is that indeed not all Jews are Zionists. And as I mentioned earlier, in fact, Zionism and Judaism are two differing and incompatible concepts. And we feel, actually, that we have both a religious and a religion-based humanitarian duty to spread our message. Uh, our, our motivation for spreading this message is twofold. Number one, we consider that Zionism and the way it shows itself in the world is actually, a, we consider it to be a blot and a stain on the Jewish people. And because we claim that we want to live our lives in the service of the Almighty, then in, in effect it becomes a blot and a stain 
on the Almighty. It is a profanation of God's name. And we come out to show that Zionism is not Judaism. Judaism is not Zionism. By that we hope to try to reduce this thing, we try to, to sanctify it to some degree, to the extent that we are able to God's name by explaining that please don't confuse it. <coughs> and the other motivation we have is that Zionism, because of the history of its aim, and because of its very essence, which will elaborate more on as I go through my words, Zionism um, set up in Palestine a confrontation between Arab and Jew, or Arab and, <coughs> and Zionist, and the confrontation produces violence, as we have seen over the years, and violence produces death, both Jew and not Jew. And by coming out to meetings such as this, our aim is to de defuse the confrontation, to reduce the confrontation. You reduce confrontation, you reduce violence, you save lives. And the sanctification of human life is very, very great in all religions and other religions as well. And so our other motivation is the saving of life. So it's the sanctification of God's name and also the saving of human lives. That is the motivation that sends us out these meetings and uh, it's not always easy and um, but we feel that we have the duty to do so. <coughs> authentic Orthodox Jews. Uh, we say authentic, we feel we have the right to say authentic because what we are saying has the authority of history. It is what has been handed down from one generation to another. Authentic Orthodox Jews sympathize entirely with the Palestinian cause and they protest vehemently uh, the wrongs done to them by the Zionists and Zionists. 